Hey everyone, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. In this video, we're going to talk about what uh, guest mailbox is, what a guest mailbox is, why you might want one, and how we can create one. So what a guest mailbox is, is really nothing more than a voice mailbox that just doesn't have one of the phone sets associated with it. So normally you'd have, you know, set 221, 222, 223, and each one would have a voice mailbox to, and voicemail 221, 2223, etc. With a guest mailbox, you create a voice mailbox that does not have a phone associated with it. So, if my extensions, say I was at a, a location where I had extensions uh, 221 through 300, well, a guest mailbox might be extension, I mean, a voice mailbox 400. Now, why would we want one? There's a few reasons. You might have somebody who's a road warrior who does not physically, you know, stay at the building. Um, all the time and so they don't have a phone at the premises but they do need to have a corporate voicemail presence or they need to have a repository for messages that other people in, in the company can transfer them to. Um, another thing that's kind of neat with uh, guest mailboxes is you can use them as kind of a kind of a dummy mailbox to, for uh, telemarketing calls. So if you've got people who call for uh, one of the decision makers on a regular basis and you suspect that this is probably just a telemarketing call, you can put that call into the guest mailbox and then there they can leave a message and then that person th that was the target of that message can check them you know, once a day or you know, once every two or three days so that at least if the message import is important they're getting it but it helps you know, keep them focused on their task without being interrupted by telemarketing calls. All right, so how do we make a guest mailbox? It's the same way we make any other mailbox. We log into our voicemail administration, feature 983. Oh, I accidentally paged there. Feature 983. All right, and then the default here is normally the the 12000, the 102. It just depends on how many digits your extensions are. My extensions are three digits, so I'm going to do 102 and then four zeros. I actually changed my code. It's not zero. It's, the password's not four zeros anymore. Anyway, so once we're in voicemail administration, we're going to click on mailbox. Now, this is just the same way we make any other mailbox. Here's the key difference. When we click add, the mailbox number we choose needs to be a number outside our range of extensions. So if we work in a company where the phone system has extensions 221 through, say, 333, then we're going to want a mailbox number that's outside that range. So I'm going to go with, say, the 400. So I'm going to go with 403. All right, it's going to be a subscriber mailbox. So click OK or press OK. Then when it says extension, now here normally when you're making a voice mailbox for another phone on the system, you would put in the phone extension, but we're not going to have an extension associated to this mailbox. So I'm going to hit star. Service class is usually one. And then you're going to put in, you know, the name of the person you know, so they can be in the directory. So that way if the person reaches the auto attendant, they can do the, uh, you know, spell by name to find them in the directory. And then yes for the directory. Now, when, for these last two questions, out, dial, and message line, just click, just hit the next key. All right, so now we've created uh, mailbox 403. So let's leave the programming. Let's go initialize the mailbox. By that I mean just set it up for the first time. Feature 981. So the mailbox will need to be set up by the person from a phone. So if this is this, this is somebody you're creating for that, that doesn't normally come into the office, you might need to initialize it for them for the first time. Then they can do it remotely. Feature 981. Uh, let's see, that was 403. And then, of course, the default password for any new mailbox is four zeros. Okay, I need to change the password. Okay, record a name. This is the guest mailbox name. And accept the name. Okay, so now that mailbox is initialized. So... Let's show a couple of scenarios. Let's call in to the company and let's, let's find that mailbox subscriber and leave a message. Thank you for calling the Nortel guy. 
So I'm just going to dial the mailbox number. Just like it was an extension. Oh, I dialed 401. It's not the one I wanted. It's another guest mailbox I made. Guest mailbox. It's the same concept. I just... Hi, I'm going to leave a test message here for the guest user of Mailbox 401. And then I'm going to hang up. Okay, so uh, even though I created 403, I had actually made a guest Mailbox 401 earlier, so the idea is still the same. Once that mailbox has been at least initialized, then the user can call in from the outside uh, world and check their messages. And I'll show you how you do that as soon as this line hangs up here. Okay, so if I'm the, the owner of that guest mailbox and I want to check messages, I can use any phone. I don't have to be in the building. I don't have to use a North Star phone, but I can use any phone to call into the company's auto attendant and check my messages. So I'm going to call into the company's uh, main number. Uh, 1321 I hit the star key twice. Your call. Please enter your mailbox number and your password, then press number sign. Guest mailbox. You have two new messages. Okay. So now from here I can listen to my messages, I can administer my mailbox, change the greeting, change the password, things of that nature. So to kind of summarize, you can create guest mailboxes the same way that you create normal voice mailboxes. You just do not associate a phone set with the mailbox. You need to at least initialize the mailbox from within the company. By initialize, I mean you need to, 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 to log into at least once and change the password. After that has happened, the owner of that new mailbox can dial in from outside and once they hit the auto attendant, they can hit the star key twice, um, and then they can, uh, uh, you know, enter their mailbox number and password, and then they, they've got full control of the mailbox. If, for instance, your phones are answered live during the day, then what would happen is the user would just ask to be transferred to their mailbox. Once they hear their own greeting, then they would just hit the star key twice, and it would be the same procedure. Okay, so that's guest mailboxes. I find them very handy for road warriors or for call screening. Um, or, you know, if you just need to make your company look a little bit bigger than it really is, that's, that's something else you can do. Create a guest mailbox for the accounting department or the, uh, maybe the dispatch department. And, and sometimes it's kind of nice if you want to segment your voicemail boxes uh, by mission so that you can kind of help keep them straight. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching.